Being changed for I know you had two rough nights and then you come out you hit the ball really well the last three days. Anything changed? Or? My approach or the yeah. defense? <laughs> Either one. <laughs> defense? Oh, oh. I don't know. Honestly, okay. uh, I mean, there's no excuse for what happened out there tonight or the last few nights. It's, uh, I mean, it's inexcusable. Is that always nice to kind of redeem yourself with the big hit after making a stickle? It's nice to get that hit. It didn't make me feel any better. <laughs> <laughs> How do you keep from you know, letting that affect you? Though? The defensive part of it. How do you keep that from affecting you when you're trying to do offensive? I mean, honestly, I know that's not the player I am. So, you know, I mean, I just go out there and, and pray that they hit me the ball again so I can make the next play. What happened on that? I'm sorry? What happened on that particular uh, error today? I mean... I'm not going to even say, tell you what happened because it'll sound like an excuse. I just dropped it. You know, it just can't happen. You feeling good at the plate, though? Yeah, feeling better. <laughs> Michael, does, did Tony Tarasco talk to you at all in between innings? Or did, did you guys mention or you talk about it some other time? Or? No, he coached me up. He said, don't drop the ball. So, <laughs> <laughs> um, it's great coaching, you know. Just, <laughs> I mean... There's not much you can't say right there. It's just, it just can't happen. Michael, you know what you guys as a collective unit are capable offensively. Is it nice the last three days to kind of see it come to fruition? Yeah, I think things are starting to get rolling right now. Um, you know, the pitching has been there the whole time. Guys are starting to swing it, so it'll be fun to see what happens, you know, coming forward.